sitting here and hoping Christopher Knight and Jackie Gleason or whatever is that. You know, you're wasting your time. They never are going to do it. We need to create our own institution and our own people to write about it. And what's going to happen is they're going to eventually come around. But who cares if they do or not? We treat so we treat the uh, the uh, Cam and William Grant still like it's the Chitlin Circuit, like something that we're we're not proud of. And, and we need to be proud of our institutions and create our and create more institutions and not worry about you know. Uh, those people writing and giving you validations. We need to give our own self, our own selves validation. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I Dr. really. Lewis, Dr. Lewis. Lewis. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just wanted to say something before I forget. Um, and I spoke with Charmaine about this on the phone, and it, and it's and it ties in with what you're saying, and and with my conversation with Mark Bradford, who said that um, because he's hanging around a lot of rich white people now, he's paying himself for start two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. He said that he noticed that when some white people who weren't well, if they come into money, the first thing they do is they become a member, a board member at a certain museum or at a certain nonprofit gallery. And because they understand that's where the, the power is, the money, the art. And, and however, that he's noticed when black folk get into money, they will d invest in depreciating objects such as cars, mm -hmm. you know, um, or, yes. or Gucci purses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, I, and I can give you a testimony of this, which I should also share over here with my friend Tony, uh, of, of the unappreciation that rich black people have yeah. for our art. Mm -hmm. or under, maybe it's a cultural thing. It's, I can't yeah. say that they don't appreciate, they don't understand uh -huh. the value uh -huh. that we as artists, but the time that we put into our work, the, the amount of money that we spend on material, when, when, you know, and, and, and then that art is one of the greatest things that you could possibly invest in because if you take a, an artist who, who's, who's emerging, you could buy the painting for $5,000 and then three years later they become famous, you can turn around and sell that painting for $500,000 on the secondary market. You can't do that with the house, you can't do that with the car, and you don't have to make any kind of investment in terms of the upkeep of the art. You just get to hang it on your wall and enjoy it. You don't have to hire maintenance people to, to keep the grounds of your real estate. So, um, what I would like to see as part of this new infrastructure, this new organization, is that someone take all the rich black people in LA, there are so many of them, and before I say that, I want to say what Zeal said, she's a great artist, she's so humble, but she said, if only, if only I had a collector, a patron, oh yeah, man, look yeah. how great my art would be. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the great things that came out of my having had a studio in Chungking Road is that this really rich man uh -huh. passed by and dug my work and he and his wife have been acting as my patrons and whenever I felt like I couldn't come up with the rent I'm like Jerry okay <laughs> he'd buy a painting for me one day he just dropped the $2,500 check in my door that man has invested dozens of thousands of dollars on my art and it's given me the liberty to just create and the wonderful feeling that I don't have to worry and then you know it's a great thing we need collectors we need people to invest in our art and to buy it at the fair market value. One thing that Mark Bradford said that John Adderman should do now is add a zero to all those prices. He's so hot, put another zero to all those prices. And so what I would like to see, uh, I would love to see you know, Cam do this and, and whatever other fledgling or growing um, organizations to reach out to these rich people and teach them about why it would be such a great thing to invest in black, in, in black art, about, about all these things I just spoke. A perfect testimony of the truth of this that is like uh, two stories that I've given to a couple of my friends. I have a very, uh, don't put this on YouTube, please. This part, do not put on